Happy we are in the kitchen with Allison Davis and we are cooking up breakfast brunch type items. So what do you have for us today? Well, I am doing a sweet potato hash. Okay. So I think hash can really just be like whatever's in your fridge, throw it together and call it a hash. Nice. <laughs> but pretty much that's what it is. Um, but a hash typically does have potatoes in it. You'll uh -huh. have like a white potato or a red new potato or okay. home fries. Sometimes it's called like that mm -hmm. um, for a hash. But in this case, I'm doing sweet potatoes. So in this pan, I've actually just started, again, cleaning out the fridge, kind okay. of chopping up some fresh vegetables and mixing it together. So I've got just some small diced um, butternut squash and sweet potatoes. Okay. And um, I cut those a little bit smaller because they'll cook faster, and then they'll cook a little bit evenly with some of our vegetables that are larger diced, mm -hmm. like our um, yellow squash, some zucchini, some sliced mushrooms. I've got a little bit of just some red onion in there, um, and got some green beans. Yeah, some in green here. beans. Yeah. Nice. So we're gonna saute that off, and then to that, I think just for some added proteins, uh -huh. I'm gonna throw in some garbanzo beans, or you could also use like black beans. Okay. Um, it's optional. You could top this with some cheese. I chose not to for this one. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go with the spices and you know, kind of let it be what it is. I love cheese. I will add cheese. <laughs> you could certainly Always. add cheese, and I would recommend the queso fresco. Oh, Have yes. you seen that in the? I, in, I use it. Yes, I love it's it. It's in the like Spanish section, Latin American section, and you'll find it just in a wheel, and it yes. will just crumble, and it's oh, perfect. It it's is very so similar good. to like feta, but not as salty. Honestly, it's my guiltiest pleasure of cheeses. It's my favorite. Ah. I love it. I crumble. It up Sound for like tacos. Troy. I know. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I crumble it up for tacos. I make homemade yeah. tacos, and my sister in law is from Mexico, so she, you know, taught me that. But I um, I use it for that, and I love it, and I can't keep out of it. I'm like munching on it all the time. If you've you. never tried it, you gotta try it. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm totally with you. <laughs> so basically, once you've chopped up all the vegetables, we're gonna start to add this in. See okay. how we're kind of almost at a smoke point? Yes. I've just got enough oil to really just coat the bottom of the pan. Okay. And all that's just gonna go in, and we're just gonna to start sauteing that and softening it up a bit. So okay. we're going to start kind of moving that about. All right. And then we're not just going to leave it like that. We're going to add some spices. Okay. So to this, I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder for kind of a little bit of smoke. Uh huh. I love cumin. Um, we could also even like throw in uh, some fresh herbs like cilantro, but I added uh, some fresh thyme into that. Okay. Mixture, so wild thyme, you know, I love got thyme. it. I got to use it all the time. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and um, um, how lo how what's the heat level on this, by the way? I go with a high heat um, because yeah, I I really want to get some sear on that and start uh -huh. softening those up. Okay. So I have it on a high heat. We're gonna add a little bit of spice with some red pepper flakes. Okay. Um, and then we're also going to add a touch of cinnamon. So that's mm. gonna balance really well with the sweet potatoes. Uh huh. It's gonna bring a little layer of complexity and sweeten it slightly, but uh -huh. not overpower. But yeah. it does blend well with the spice. And then I of like course, it. just salt and pepper. So I like I'm going to kind of go in on that. So a little chili powder. OK. And you can see the measurements are absolutely crucial <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not measuring. Surprise, surprise. I love that, though. You know, and quite honestly, a lot of it? us are busy. You're cooking. You're just like, you know, I like how you're kind of just improvising it. You know, you just do it to your own taste. And you do. Like it. And then the last thing us moms want to do um, in the kitchen is find every measuring spoon that there is uh -huh. and then clean it afterwards. Right, right. right. Yeah. So, all right, a little bit of red pepper flake. Again, red pepper flake is very um, spicy, so just a little bit goes a long way. Okay. And then just that touch of cinnamon. All right. See, just a little yeah. touch. And then we can always adjust. We can always adjust after. Okay. All right. So some salt. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, too. the cinnamon really does work. Oh, it's some wonderful. Some salt, some pepper, and then we're going to throw in those garbanzo beans. Uh -huh. And really just let this hang out. The more that it cooks down, yeah. the more caramelized your vegetables get, the yeah. more sweetness that comes out of them just naturally. Uh -huh. um, you know, when you cook onions over and over and over, like for a lengthy period of time, uh -huh. they really start to sweeten up. So that's kind of what's happening here as you go. Oh, well, it's, and then my oh, favorite so addition into this hash, if you want, uh -huh. is just cut up a little bit of apple, throw it in right at the end, Ooh. and that just does it. It gives it a crisp crunch, it adds a little bit of juice and sweetness to it, and it's perfect. Wonderful. So. Well, yeah. thank you so much. This looks yeah. wonderful. And uh, for this recipe, go to our website at wtdq.com forward slash Midday Ooh. Kentucky. 
hit the uh, recipe tab and you'll have this recipe and many others. Um, or you can go to Allison's website too. Wildtimecooking.com. Wildtimecooking.com. Wild Check out the recipes there. Thank you. And we'll be right back right after this break.